Hello everybody and welcome back for the third time to Season Up Sunday. I have to admit I'm a little bit embarrassed but I did make a mistake. Not a big one um, but this position that you currently have um, I showed the solution earlier today in a video and I stopped a little bit too early. So I want to thank Grandmaster in Composition Yohanan Afek for writing me a message and making me aware of the mistake and I'm not at all um, afraid to say that I'm sorry I messed up and it's a really great lesson for me. So let me tell you what happened. This study was composed by Grandmaster in Composition Johanna Nafek in, two, and, uh, in 2012 and it won the second prize in the 60 year jubilee of Grandmaster Jan Tiemann. And uh, I found this position amazing. And of course, I decided to share it with you both on my Facebook page and YouTube channel. And I posted the solution very happy and I was very impressed. And then, um, you know, the, the couple of year, uh, hours later, I received a, a message saying, Sabina, by the way, and I didn't even read anything that was written. I just saw from whom the message was. And uh, I was, of course, very happy <laughs> to, to see. I thought Johanan would, would love the video, and he did. But he made me aware of the fact that the last position that I showed in my previous video is not, the study is not over at that particular point. And so I put myself together. I didn't even read his solution. I wanted to make sure I would find the um, answer myself before checking um, his, uh, his solution, and I did, thank God. But that made me feel happy about something, that we make mistakes in life, like in chess and in anything else. And what's important is to come back from it. Even if you make a mistake, even if there's something that you lost or uh, you forgot to, to, to consider, it doesn't matter. You have to be strong enough and, and you know, accept that you made a mistake and then put yourself together and get back even stronger. So this is not maybe the best lesson to describe that, but it certainly was a small lesson for me. And I'll be sure to check everything before sharing them with you guys. And if you ever find any mistake in my uh, analysis or positions that I'm sharing, feel free to write write the um, comments and uh, personal messages. And I'll be sure to do my best to respond to all of you and check my mistakes. Okay, with that said... For those of you who want to solve this position, this is your last chance to pause the video and start uh, solving it and afterwards check out the video. I'm just going to go very fast through the line and um, emphasize on a very important theme that I hadn't noticed the first time, but now with Grandmaster Johanan Afek's um, message, I am, I am sure that I know what I'm talking about. So I want to thank him for his uh, input and uh, get started. I will only focus on the main line in this video. So if you would like to see the um, lines for the smaller variations, be sure to check my previous video. Okay, so let's get started. Rook b7 check, rook a7 check. And I highlighted at this point both the knight in c1 and the knight in c8. And I want you to remember those two squares because I'm going to tell you a story as we go through this position. Knight takes a7, rook e8 check, the pawn, as the arrow was pointing out, is, was stopping the, uh, the king from going to b7. Knight goes to c8 and be very, very um, careful of what's going on now. This knight is going to be given away in c8. King a7, bishop c5 check, rook to king c5, rook a check to be able to promote f8 check. Queen b8 was the only move for black to try to stay on in the game. Queen takes c5 and here black was playing d2. Threatening both to promote in d1 and also capture the knight in c1. c7 Pawn takes 
c1 capture knight king b1 only move to try to win the game and after queen c8 queen c6 check king a7 after king takes c1 i paused here the video i said that's it what a beautiful study and there i was and this the video was over well in this position i forgot the fact that black could still move their queen from c8 because white cannot promote into a queen because black would be stalemated so white will be able uh, sorry black will be able to go ahead give a lot of checks sacrifice their queen and then you know um, black is going to be on a stalemate and the move that i missed is queen h3 this is the move that i missed now once again White cannot promote into a queen here because black is just going to play queen f1. The king can go wherever they want. And now simply queen b1 check and giving a bunch of checks. Um, now queen d3 check. Until the queen is going to be captured by the king and then this king is on a stalemate. That is why after queen h3 white has to make a very strong move c8 and knight with check of course if white doesn't promote into anything in this position black's um, idea is quite simple either do give a lot of checks hopefully finishing in a perpetual or capture this pawn in b3 after which once again white will still not be able to promote because black will give a lot of checks until the queen will be sacrificed and black will be on a stalemate so that's why this amazing move c8 knight and after king b8 you have to try to find another very good move for white keeping in mind that black wants to capture this pawn in b3 but also possibly give a lot of checks uh, ending in a perpetual check so the correct move in this position is knight b6 and here Black has two choices, one of which is capturing this pawn in b3 and the other one trying to give perpetual check. This knight, however, and the way white's pieces are placed are controlling pretty much everything, so white can simply bring their king to safety in a3, a4, b4. They're somewhere, depending on how the checks are going to go next, for example, queen e2 checking a3. And now if, if black gives queen a6 check, simply king b4, and now uh, there are a couple more checks where black sacrifices the queen, but it won't be a stalemate because black still has the a7 square. And if in this position black would go queen e7 check, white could simply play king a4, and then maybe there will be one more check, after which white can simply play b4 and no more checks that are going to help black uh, to stay in the game. So after knight b6, the last uh, possibility that black has here is to try to capture this pawn in b3, saying that, you know, queen and knight versus queen, it's not so easy to win. I mean, I'll have a bunch of checks and, and I can save the game. Indeed, if I wouldn't have something better, you would save the game. But white has this another beautiful idea to be utilized in a study. Queen c8 check, the king has to go in a7, and now queen a8 check. Black has to capture the knight, and a beautiful skewering, winning the queen. And unfortunately for black, there is no stalemate anymore, so white is winning. Now, I told you about maybe 10 moves ago to be very cautious or careful or pay attention to the c8 and c1 squares. And once again, Grandmaster Johanna Nafek made me realize about this theme that I hadn't thought about. The theme of this study reminds ourselves of the phoenix. What do we know about the legend of the phoenix? Is that, you know, when they die, their ashes turn... Um, um, turn back into life, right? So, very similar to that idea the study has been composed why is that well if you remember earlier 
black sacrificed their knight in c8, right? White captured black's knight in c8. And then the only difference between the phoenix is that now white ended up later on promoting the c pawn to c8 in a knight. And the same theme happened with the uh, other side. So in this position, after rook a8, king takes, we promote it into a queen, queen b8, capture the rook d2, right? In this position, after c7, um, I'm sorry, after c7, d takes c1, black ended up capturing white's knight in c1 and promoting into a knight. So that, I think, is just a brilliant theme uh, to utilize in a study and I really hope you enjoyed it and I'm really sorry I hadn't realized it earlier it's uh, the, the, now that I know that I made a mistake I'm even more impressed with the study and I hope you are as well uh, so remember here after Queen h3 white would promote to c8 on the same spot that the, that black's knight was captured with a knight that's all I have for today this is hopefully the last video for today, but I'm certainly going to make more tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening and see you soon. Bye.